to ensure future generations of cells will have the same genetic instructions as the parent cell. The structure of DNA aids in the speed and accuracy of replication. Double-stranded DNA is a polymer of two strands of nucleotides, which are hydrogen bonded to each other to form a double helix. Nucleotides are molecules that consist of a deoxyribose sugar, a phosphate, and one of four nitrogenous bases. The phosphodiester backbones consist of alternating sugar and phosphate groups. The nitrogenous bases include cytosine, thymine, adenine, and guanine. Cytosine forms three hydrogen bonds with guanine, and thymine forms two hydrogen bonds with adenine. This is referred to as complementary base pairing. The double helix will have one strand oriented in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction relative to the hydroxyl group of the deoxyribose sugar, and the other strand oriented in a 3' prime to 5' prime direction. This shows the anti-parallel nature of the DNA strands. The complementary base pairing in the structure of DNA allows replication to be executed in a semi-conservative manner. Each strand of the DNA molecule is used as a template in the creation of a new double strand. Replication begins with double-stranded DNA being separated, and each original strand, called a parent strand, is used as a template for the complementary base pairing of nucleotides to make two new molecules. DNA replication occurs in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction adding new nucleotides to the 3' prime end of the newly forming strand. DNA replication will begin at a specific area of the molecule called the origin of replication. The origin of replication denotes the area of active replication called the replication fork. In order to understand how complex eukaryotic organisms replicate DNA, Scientists first studied replication in prokaryotic models like E. coli. A number of 